All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, we want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahushai Bashim, or Chakodash. We'd like to give double honors to our elders and apostles, our great millstone that do good well. Peace and salutations to the Lord's elect, the hopeful elect in the one third, and Lord's will. This video, this epistle, this church will be edifying and exhorting to your sincere sheep of Yahweh Bashim, Yahushai, Bahar Chakodash. All right, uh, can you get John um, 4 and 22? All right, we are the Hebrew Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those scattered abroad, according to the diaspora, which is prophesied in the Holy Scriptures. All right, and uh, as it is said in Romans 8 and 16, if your spirit bears witness with this truth, which it says in Matthew 24 and 14, you know, you're an Israelite, okay? And we are in the end days. This is why Yahweh Bashim Shai, who you call God and who you know as Jesus, all right, has raised us up. Okay, like it says in Revelations 11. See, hey, call all y'all Bashim Every Everything we're saying is, is filtered, you know, through this, you know. So um, we just we just come out in the spirit, you know, uh, uh, to edify, to exhort, and uh, ultimately to be used by Yahweh Bashim to uh, uh to push, you know. So we can start with that, brother. <clears throat> this is the book of St. John uh, 4 and verse 22. Mm -hmm. It says, ye worship, ye know not what we know. Well, we worship. Well, see, now we know what we worship. Okay, get uh, John 14 and um, 26. He shall teach you. Because see, at one point in time, we also believed in uh, what the, the, the majority of people believe in when it comes to the Bible. This is why you can't say the Bible without hearing religion after. You know, this is why you can't hear, uh, uh, say God without thinking Christianity. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? So, <clears throat> so we at one point too didn't know what we were worshiping. But now... Now, not having the lack of knowledge, all right, we're not destroyed with that uh, uh, ideology of, uh, of that mindset, okay? St. Mm -hmm. John 14 and verse 26, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, yep. whom the Father will send in my name, see, he shall teach you all things yep. and bring all things to your re remembrance. And this is why we're out here. This is, that, that was the point, you know? This is why we're out here. This is, uh, uh, unless you had some more, you saw anything. But this is why we're out here. This is why we're being moved, okay, in the spirit. This is why uh, 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 we're, we're filtering everything through the scriptures. This is why when we speak right in the back of our mind, uh, scriptures, okay, are, are coming coming out. Like earlier, we just quoted a few of them, you know, because this is what our speech is based upon, you know, because when you look at something like Christianity, the main thing after they're done speaking, you have a, a Hebrew Israelite say what? Show me that in the Bible. Yep. And they say that because they know for a fact it's not in the Bible mm -hmm. because the Lord has put it in our spirit to read, continue to read and learn and teach and study with the Bible. Okay? Because if we're coming out in any other way, then that means there's no light in us. Mm -hmm. Okay? Back in St. John mm -hmm. 4 and 22, and it says, we know what we worship. See, we now know what we worship. We actually know that we're worshiping Yahweh Bashim al Shai. We actually know that there are 144,000 Israelite men, okay, that are uh, uh, that are reserved, preserved for salvation. Okay, we know that what this to be is now true, mm -hmm. because the things that we say, the words that we speak, the knowledge that we have, okay, or the understanding that we keep, we know that it's based off of this. Okay, this is why you have discrepancies with Hebrew Israelites according to understanding, okay? This is why some believe that the Sabbath is this, some, but there's not a discrepancy uh, of them being Hebrew Israelites. Right. There's more of a pushback with doctrine than nationality. Yep. They, they, whether or not, that, you know, they still know they're Israelites, yep. you know? So this proves you can't do nothing uh, against the truth before the truth, mm -hmm. no matter what. No matter, even if you try to tear it down, all it's going to do is build it up that much more. That's right. And this is all signs of what? The end of days. As the as the end of days are approaching, we have a spirit to, to seek this and not man. You know, seek this and not uh, transhumanism. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, something more Esau gave us. We're in the future and people are still relying on what Esau can give you. You know? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, it, and it goes in the same for salvation is of the Jews. Right, and, that, and it says the Jews because at this time you had uh, a majority the southern kingdom uh, in the Roman Empire because under the Assyrians, uh, it was prophesied for the northern kingdom to flee into the land that we're standing on right now, into a land that no uh, man dwelt. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going. Verse 23, mm -hmm. but the hour cometh. Here's the point. 
and now is when the true worshipers yep. shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Yeah, see, we're in the true hour. We, you know, we just were starting up, you know, uh, uh, and, and I'm going to say this too. You know, the reason we're on a byway is so that the word can have free course. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're in the time now where uh, we're not going out deliberately looking for a debate. We're not here to prove anything to any of these people. We understand that people are set up to be in gross darkness because we once were. Okay, so we just want to, the, the, excuse me, Yahweh Bashem is put on our spirit where we just want to teach. You know, we want to, we want to open the scriptures. We want to rely on the Holy Spirit. Okay, and teach. You see, but read that again. Yep. Mm -hmm. St. John 4 and 23, but the hour cometh, you want peppermint? Uh, I'm going to see if I got some spray. St. John 4 and 23, but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And that's right now because you know because you have because you know, even though Jake know that there is lights, but you have a you know a, a, a elect remnant that's gonna fully come back to you know the ways of uh, um, of Yahweh Shalom Shai all around. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Well, we can go to Thessalonians for that. Yep. That's why Paul was saying sanctified in the spirit. Mm. You know, we could go go into that after that if you okay. want. And it goes in to say. <clears throat> The Father in spirit and in truth. Yeah. It says, for yeah, the, the, the Father, yep, keep going. It says, for the Father seeketh seek such, right. It says, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. So the Lord, so we're in the days now where the Lord is looking through in the earth and seeing uh, how, who's seeking me, you know? How are they seeking me? You see? So we're seeking Yahweh Shem El Shai in spirit, Holy Spirit, and in truth, mm -hmm. which the truth is Yahweh Shai. Right. Okay. You got something? Quick precept. Yep. Going, going about the word seeketh. This is uh, Saint Jeremiah five and one, and it says, "Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem, Israel, and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof, if he can find a man, if there be any that execute judgment, that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon it." Yeah, and this is what the Lord is doing right now. He's showing within uh, the the grand awakening of things. Okay, amongst Israel. He's showing you who is set up to hold the Bible, teach the Bible, and actually correct you to be uh, in the right mindset as a Hebrew Israelite. Because a lot of our people, like it says in Jeremiah, they want smooth things. But then there's there's a remnant of our people that actually have a, a conscience, you know, where they have a spirit where it's like, all right, I know I know this this is gonna cut me, it's gonna feel uncomfortable, but I know the end of it is gonna be that much better. Mm -hmm. And that's you accepting the chastisement. A lot of our people don't want to be chastised by the Lord because it puts them in an uncomfortable position. But see, we're in captivity, which it was set up for us to be in uncomfortability because it's referred to as bitter. This is why at Passover, you you eat the, the bitter herb, all right, to remember the bitterness of, of captivity, all right? This is why there's a spirit to rebuke Jake when they're always in the mirth. They're always, that's what, that's what it's about. Oh, why, what's wrong with them? Why they mad? It's, we just, you're you're too happy-go-lucky as if you're already in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. You're too caught up on the sweet and you don't want to accept bitter, okay? Now, bitter comes when it comes. We're not telling you to go out and make yourself bitter, but, and, and, but understand that within this truth, there is a form of bitterness that comes and goes, yep. okay? That's, that's all what this is about because we are standing where we're at, teaching where we're at, all because of it was prophesied to go into captivity for our disobedience. So we have to understand and accept the position we're in right now. Mm -hmm. You know? You want that <clears throat> Thessalonians? Yeah, I want the sanctified in the spirit. I got it right yeah. Yep. <clears throat> this is the book of Second Thessalonians 2 and 13. It says, But we are bound to give thanks always yep. to the Most High for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, because the Most High hath, uh, excuse me, because the Most High has from the beginning chosen you mm. to salvation through sanctification See? of the spirit. Chosen you from the beginning, okay? Now, Israel will always set up to be, uh, uh, to have salvation, but there was a small remnant, all right, that was predestined. That's why Yahweh Shai said, there are some of you standing that shall not see death, mm -hmm. okay? Because out of Israel being uh, uh, um, that chosen nation, with what we're going in, uh, with prophecy happening, all right, the end of an age, all right, there's a prophecy where not all Israel's gonna make it to the promised land, as you would say, but they'll be in it when they get born back. Mm -hmm. But you're, we're talking about the small remnant, okay, that was prophesied from the beginning to get this word, to understand it, and endure it to the end. So that cuts just telling the Israelite to come back to the law. Mm -hmm. 
You have to, this is, that's why it says it's a true hour. Because you have to understand in the spirit that no matter what an elect man does, all right, he's going to be delivered. Now, 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 elect man ain't going to take the, the mark. All right, the elect man is, is going to rehearse the righteous acts. All right, but ultimately, the, that elect man, and you also have elect women and children, but we're speaking about the 144,000 right now, right? But you have to understand that you're going to have elect men that are, are going to be in a spirit of doing things that are pleasing to the Lord. And that's going to be through faith and not just I'm keeping the commandments. How am I sinning? Right. This is what this is what the spirit is expressing. That's why it says uh, a man is saved by hope. OK, it didn't say the law. It says a man saved by hope. So you're hoping what you're doing is enough to what needs to be done so that you could be a part of the predestinated souls to be delivered. Because we understand that there's prophecy, major prophecy that's gonna that's gonna disrupt society. Okay, society as you know it is soon going to change drastically. This is what needs to be addressed. This is what needs to be talked about. This is what Hebrew Israelites should be focusing on is the end. That's why I said Yahweh is the finisher. We need to be speaking about the end of everything. All right, I learned I'm an Israelite. What's next? All right, we got lip. The laws ain't done away. Okay, I can't keep best my. Okay, what's next? All right, well, prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. Okay, I got one. You quote it. Yeah. Um. Well, actually, let me finish it real quick. I beg of this loan is two and thirteen, and it says, uh, "Because the Most High hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation." And you gotta have faith in that. You know, you gotta you gotta hope in that. You gotta you gotta actually hope. You gotta believe. You gotta uh, 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 believe what you hope for. You know. Mm -hmm. You got to actually believe what you hope for because now you understand the destruction that's coming, mm -hmm. you know, because this place is just set up to rock you back to sleep. You know, baby Jake has been rocked to sleep for, for, you know, hundreds of years, man. You know, it was spiritual. This is why you have an awakening. But even our people that have found out they're Israelites, they're not fully awake either. Oh, that's why it tells you in Romans 13, uh, awake oh, yeah, yeah. for the kingdom. Get that real quick yeah. and then finish that. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go back. We'll get eight too. This is the book of Romans 13 and verse 11. And that knowing the time that now. Well, one, do you know the time? Right. You have to know the time, mm -hmm. you know, and that's that's bitter. You know, that's actually bitter, too, because say you get a, 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 a spot or a, comf a pocket of comfortability. Well, in the back of your mind, you're, you should still be thinking like how the end's going to come. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to come to a point in this truth where you have to tell yourself when, you know, OK, I, I know the end's coming, but right, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm just right now I'm chilling mm -hmm. yeah, I'm chilling but you're not forgetting okay you're not getting drunk you know you find a woman you find something you like but in the back of your mind you still you still know what's going on yeah, right you know what I mean you don't you're not drunken you're not drunken in the flesh you know and that's the bitter part because it's like damn my, my mind won't turn off so you gotta you gotta you gotta maintain mm -hmm. you know you got to maintain your mind is being molded. Things are being changed. Your spirit is being renewed. Thoughts are coming to your mind that wouldn't before. You're conscious. You're awake. You've been rendered active. <laughs> that, this is what this is. You know, That's right? This is why the folly is is by choice and, and not routine. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to choose to watch this folly right now. Right. But I but but watching this isn't going to get keep me off my my watch in, in the in the. Uh, uh, real of things, right. you know. That's right. And the reality of things, mm -hmm. you know. Hey, we face reality up here. That that's why it says the Lord is near to a contrite spirit. You know, we actually face reality, issues, problems, things that want to be fixed. You know. Uh, well, Romans, sorry, that's why it says Yahweh Shai was a man of grief and sorrow. Yep. You know, but we don't walk around to where you think that we're full of grief and sorrow. That's right. another thing you have to master too. You know, master your emotions. It's, it says, be ye angry and sin not. Is it anger or sin? But you got to master those emotions, which is what? Ruling your spirit. That's right. Romans 13 and verse 11. And it says, and that knowing the time <clears throat> that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Yep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. That reminds me of uh, when Paul said, put away childish things. You know, hey, ain't nothing wrong with a, a, a good music, good singing, you know, dancing. Ain't nothing wrong with seeing a, a Israelite woman in modest apparel, but you've you've gotten drunken on that. You 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 have people that are in the misconception of their they've made it. Mm -hmm. You know, that was that nigga we made it. You oh, know, yeah. like nah, we ain't make it yet. Right. We're making it, but we ain't make it yet. This is what church is. This is this is what this is. The spirit is expressing. 
okay? Exhortation, correction, all right? This is the Lord uh, 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 keeping, keeping us on the up and up. We have to stay on the up and up. You know, right now, the fires are still burning, but right now they're kindling. You know, the the the, uh, the one thing is hushing the news. Yep. Magog's kind of fluttering, yep. you know, but hey, get ready for some more, man. Get ready for some more turn up. More LD. Yep. 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 Get ready. That's This is why it says don't be asleep. Don't be, don't let your guard down here. You know, it makes me think of Thessalonians. Uh, the, the days are evil. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But uh, get what you get. Get what you get. Uh, St. Michael 2 and 10, it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Right. Real quick, if I can make a point. That's why Jacob, like, uh, uh, as soon as they find out, you know, uh, that they're Israelites, you know, they, they, they be like, well, I guess that's it. But now nah, it's more. And just like you said earlier, it's more than, you know, knowing the laws and things of that nature. You know, prophecy and, and, and more uh, prophetic events, you know, uh, that's going to happen, you know? Well, they want to play house with the Bible. Yep. You know, they find out who they are. They find out, you know, their position as a Hebrew Israelite man. So they like they want to use that position with the Bible to back them up for fleshly gain. You know, we're, we're, we're not in here for that. We're 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 using as was my man, uh, Pastor X, the survival scrolls. Mm, yep. All right. <laughs> because we, we tr we're, we're surviving. OK, you got everything going up. You got uh, uh, prices going up. You know, inflation at an all-time high and only increasing. All right, gas has become norm normalized as, as a damn near $5, okay? Things as you know it have changed already. Going back mm -hmm. to prophecy change in society, things as you know it has already changed. Yep. So the, the, the basic black lifestyle that you've been conditioned to live can no longer be. You can't afford to go out and, and uh, speed date, you know, because the standard is uh, you pay for all the meals yep. while the, while she gets to, you know, jump from this tree to that tree, you know, and, and you can't do that no more. We're in reality. OK, we ain't in a time of uh, spending money for just uh, pleasure and fun. OK, because that's what Jake's like to do, you know, spend thousands of dollars at a bar. What? We're not in that Perfect. time no more. We're not in that time. You know, never you should have been, but we're not in that time. Things are changing out here, okay? The, the spirit has us locking in, understanding that we have to actually rebuke flesh and, and not just accept that we're in the flesh, fighting against it. That's why it says it's contrary one to another. Have you realized that your flesh and spirit are contrary one to another? Have you experienced that yet? Where that thought where you say, damn, I, 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 tr I try, but every this flesh. Right. That's why Paul said, man, yep. it's in me, man. Yep. Have you experienced certain thoughts that you know aren't you and you're like that's that's the flesh that's Satan. that ain't me see yeah. those are things that you have to uh, uh uh experience to understand the severity of what we're involved in man you know and it goes in to say because it is polluted yes it shall destroy you yeah and that's that's something that i actually had to learn myself that there's more things wrong with this place than just the n-word you know that's what he saw did he isolated you know, one uh, 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 word of oppression to to uh, blanket the rest of reality. There's there's things bigger uh, uh, issues than hearing the N word. Okay, you hear sirens in the background, poverty, minimum wage. You get minimum wage. Minimum. You know, there's a lot of things out here worse than the N word. All right, but the, but all Jake is caught up in on that. And guess what? Who gave him that? Who who gave you a platform? That it was okay for you to cry as black people when something negative is, is referred to you. But you ain't you ain't offended at a, a scary movie. You ain't offended at the uh, Wayne's Brothers, you know? You ain't offended at Tyler Perry, yep. you know? You ain't you ain't offended at- uh, uh, Disney. Uh, uh, Disney, Disney, right, right. None of that. You ain't offended that uh, now uh, only Black Lives Matter. I'm brown, you know? Shit. Jake not offended at Babylon itself. Exactly. The, the pollution. Yep. Shit, y'all ain't offended that the, the uh, poverty rate is at an all-time high? You're not offended at the Pacific Patch? You're not offended that there's bestiality? See what he's done? He's isolated your mind of, of being a judge. Where are the judges? Can you get there real quick? What's that? Deuteronomy 6 and 4? I got you. Yep. You know, I know 7 and 6, you are chosen, but I think 6 and 4 is that this is a wisdom. Okay, yep. You don't realize that the Esau has single-handedly taken the spirit of you as an Israelite man to be a judge. He's taken it out of your mind. And now you, you give it to the black woman. Now she's just the ultimate judge, you know? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 4. <clears throat> and it goes on to say, 
uh, was it four and six? Yeah, I think yeah. it's four and six. Deuteronomy four and six, and it says, yep, uh, it says, keep therefore and do them. Let's see, where are we at? Uh, start up, uh, you start at one. Yeah, just start at yep. one. Yep. This Dude, is church. That's right. This is church, Press man. Necessity. You know, this is what the spirit is, is, is expressing to us. Hey, look, you don't need the glitch. You don't need the glamour. All right. Just water and plant. I'll give the increase. That's right. If you don't like what's being said, you don't. If, if this is if this is not your cup of tea, we'll stop sipping it. Mm -hmm. This is Book of Deuteronomy 4 and verse 1. Now therefore hearken, O Israel, mm -hmm. unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you for to do them that, that ye may live. Mm. Hey, we're about living, man. We're not in the spirit of that commercialized uh, uh, suicidal life that you pronounce YOLO. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're here to live. Even my man Big Pun said yeah, that. Like, yep. You know what he said? He said, I lost 100 pounds. I want to live. Right. Hey, we want to live. Even though we're in this flat, we don't want to live here, but we want to live in the spirit. That's why Paul says more needful that, you know, I remain with you. And that's why he says in Ecclesiastes, uh, better is a living uh, dog than a dead, dead lion. lion. Yep. You know? Right. Yeah. <clears throat> and it goes in to say, and go in, and, excuse me, and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. And we're getting ready to do that again. But it won't be taken away this time. Daniel 7, they shall take the kingdom. That's right. Okay. Keep going. Verse 2. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you. Yeah. Neither shall ye diminish uh, diminish aught from it. And this is why what you know as Hebrew Israelites have been the most demonized because we have a spirit to, to say the rawness. You know, uh, we were setting up. And you had a guy that perceived to be an Edomite. He had said, uh, what are you doing? You, 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 you about to have a speech? And, you know, I said, we just reading the Bible. And he said that uh, he basically took a, a, a religious class in college. And all he could read was the uh, Old Testament. You know what he said? Nothing but violence. So people don't like hearing the truth of the Bible because yep. to them it's violent. You know what I said? But I ain't say it in a snide manner. I didn't say it. I said it softly. I said, I said the world is violent. He said, you got that right. You right. got that right. Yeah. So hey, what's well, the big right. deal? What's the big deal? Okay, this Bro, is this right. is why people look and they see the sign and they see Cesare Bogier with horns on. Oh, I gotta walk away. But 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 you you seeing you know a uh, 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 transformer uh, right? The so water. You see a transformer walking around. You know, teaching kids. There's no uneasiness. It's oh man, rights. That's crazy. You know. It's just we're upside down to where we live. In. It's upside down and inside out, mm -hmm. you know. And Deuteronomy 4 and 2, and it says, You shall not add unto the word which I command you. Which we don't do. And we, we have the Lord put fear in us where we don't want to add to the word. We're not trying to add to the word to fulfill our uh, uh, pleasure, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to add in. You know, we were talking about the other day how um, certain things will be said. And we're like, oh, got to do that now. You know, yeah, oh, yeah. got to do that. Hey, it says it. You know, like there's been times where we've been out and about and uh, uh, it was like news break. You know, the apostles did a lesson and they were like, yo, today, today's to be referred as a Sabbath. Yep. Were, oh, shit. And with, hey, all the plans we may have had, you know, little things we might have wanted to do. We couldn't do them. Drop them. Drop them. You know? Mm -hmm. And it goes in to say, it says, neither shall you diminish all from it. That ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. And, and you got Jake doing that today. Yeah. You got wicked ass Jake, you know, uh, uh, you know, celebrating the uh, Passover on different days. Yeah. You know what I mean? Having sex on the Sabbath. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And uh, read that line again, Baba Kishan. Yep. It says uh, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your yep. God. And guess what? Which I command you. And guess what? There's more. Shalom, Shalom brother. Shalom, bro. There's, uh, there's more than 13, uh, 613 commandments. Mm -hmm. Okay. When Paul said, I command you, that's law, okay? You got to understand, when, when something said, that's law. You know, read that one more time. Yep. Okay. And it goes in to say, Deuteronomy 4 and 2, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. Yeah, I command you, okay? And this is being ushered through who? Moses. But you had other men that uh, commanded you to do things too, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, verse 3 we were says, commanded to be in in season out of season uh -huh. you know sorry brother we were commanded to be in in season out of season hey yahweh shai brought new commandments you know this new i write under you mm -hmm. you know but you got jake man they're caught they're they're idolizing the torah they're idolizing the law 
you know? And that's what they did when Yahweh Shai was on the scene. They tried to put the uh, uh, the law over Yahweh Shai. That's why I said, bro, the, uh, the uh, uh, Sabbath was made for man, not man for Sabbath. Right. Calm your ass down, man. Right. You know, but hey, Jake Jake has a a, a worshiping spirit, a carnal worshiping spirit. They worship the ephod, they worship the brass serpent, you know, worship uh, uh, golden calves, all types of stuff, man. Mm -hmm. They like to worship things that they can see. Tangible things. Yep. Uh, verse Deuteronomy 4 and 3, it says, <clears throat> your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of Baal Peor, for all the men that follow Baal Peor, the Lord thy, thy God hath destroyed them from among you. Mm. But ye... Hey, that, so that shows you if there's something that's getting in the way of you serving the Lord, he's going to take it away. That's why you... Uh, hey, man, anything could be made into an idol. A job could be an idol. Money, you know, a woman, okay? Mm. Thoughts, certain things that you put, you know, alcohol, herbs, certain things you... That's why there was that one king, he had the foot issue, and he put the herb over the most high, and the most high took, uh, bleed, took him out. So when we take stuff, hey, I'm, bl I'm blessing in the name of the Lord. That's why when you see, like, going back to the point of commandment, when Paul, uh, which if it be the Lord's will, we're going to go to 2 Thessalonians 3. Mm -hmm. He said, I command you in the name of Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. So if, if there's something, if there's an order being put out in the name of Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, that's a law. That's law. If it's pertaining to the ministry, if it's pertaining to the congregation, if it's pertaining to help this grow in the spirit. That's all That's all that goes into, you know? Mm -hmm. Verse, we're going to have new laws in the kingdom. We're going to have new high holy days. At a certain hour, at a certain day of a certain month of a certain year, is going to be a new high holy day for when Babylon's destroyed. That's right. Uh, Angel said, uh, um, the Babylon is fallen. It's fallen. Just like Hanukkah. At a certain hour of a certain day of a certain month of a certain year, an event took place would led to uh, 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 reverencing uh, the feast of uh, uh, dedication yep. uh, of Hanukkah, of defeating the Greeks and getting right. the temple back. See? So, hey, man, that's why we're just rehearsing right now. We're going to have, there's going to be new things, okay? Uh, back in Deuteronomy 4 and verse 4. Oh, didn't Yahweh Shai say, uh, uh, this new I write unto you? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. See? Of uh, Deuteronomy 4 and verse 4. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive, every one of you this day. See, we're alive now. Right. We're alive because we're cleaving to Yahweh Shem El Shai. We're cleaving like Peter did in the water, reaching for Yahweh Shai. Mm. You know, this is this is this is it. This is it. There's there's no other uh, uh, power. There's no other uh, uh, avenue that we're trying to walk down. Okay, no other way. No other way. There's no other way. Okay. Because if you go the other way, it is, it's going to be to your demise. That's right. When Neo got offered the, uh, uh, the, to leave the door, to walk, out the, to walk out the car, Trinity said, you know it's down that road. And if you like movies like we do, you know, we say in the spirit, when he walk, if he would have walked through that door, that would have been John Wick. You know? Mm -hmm. The nigga went on a murder spree because of a kill of his dog. There's more of an issue than the dog. Yep. <laughs> but the point is he wasn't complete. Right. But then when he did it, Okay, he took that leap of faith. Look what happened. He became awoke. He became w w the one. Neo knew. Right, knew. He became new. That's what we're here to do. We're here to become new. We're here, excuse me, we're here becoming new. Uh, the outward man perished, but the inward man is renewed day by day. And there's, there's a lot of work to renew something. If you're in construction, they call it renovation, uh, 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 refurbishing, mm -hmm. you know, like appliances. And then uh, renov did I say renovating? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. renovation, uh, refurbishing. You know, that's uh, uh, when you uh, remodeling. Yeah, that, yeah, that's where you yep. read back. Yep. You you you're back. You're bringing yep. something back to life. But it's a lot of work. It's a lot of polish. You know, it's a lot of sweat. Oh, that's why the Lord said uh, w with work. And what's that in Ezra? He said, "With great work, I have labored." Mm. Let's grab it really, really fast. Yep. See, we have to. We're gaining, we're getting points that the spirit is making, okay, while while initialing the lesson. That's why Elder Pastor said there's lessons within lessons. Right up in, I think it's eight, isn't it? Is it eight, Marar, or are you right? Nine and 20. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yep. Yep, I was, yeah, I'll start at 20. All right. <clears throat> Second Edges 9 and verse 20, it says, so I considered the world. Oh, well, let me say this. The, like the brother Marar said, no other way. Like right now, 
we're relying on the Lord through the Holy Spirit to teach. There's no other way we could come out here and teach. Right. Nope. I mean, you could write something down. You could.